if you had to compare, let's say, Ukraine, the Ukraine streets with American streets, mm -hmm. the beauty level, the feminine, femininity level. I'd probably say probably about 25 to 1. Imagine meeting as many beautiful traditional ladies as it takes until you meet the one. That's exactly what you can win right now. Just comment, subscribe and share. The winner will be announced live right here. Are you a young guy thinking about dating in Ukraine, but you're just not sure really, you know, you heard about all the scams, you don't know what is your opportunity, what's real, what's not. And this video is for you. We're gonna sit down, have a spot of tea with Shane, who's in Kiev, very Kiev right now. He's just been dating for a week or so. And you're gonna get his take on his experiences here, the good, the bad, and the ugly in this video. Welcome, Shane. Hey, nice to meet you. So first question, Shane, mm -hmm. is it love? Hard to tell. Uh, there's definitely uh, some uh, connections I've, I've made with uh, two women uh, that I think are very strong candidates. All the other ladies I've dated so far, uh, great. And honestly, only one of them, um, I would say, was just uh, kind of a, a standard date back home, kind of a blind date where you go on it and there just wasn't a connection there. Uh, but all the other ones were, were great, enjoyable times. Um, and uh, if, if you're debating about it, thinking at home, sitting on your couch, on your bed, in your room, whatever it is, um, do some research and, and go for it. Trust your gut. It, it's a good choice. Good advice. Good advice. You are what we call a high SMV or sexual market value man. Age 30, never married, no children. You are a highly sought after commodity. Triple A grade Ooh. USA beef. <laughs> you know, uh, sounds delicious. <laughs> in Ukraine. So what does that mean? And for all you 30 something guys or you young bucks watching this video, you need to understand if, if you're this, like, like Shane, you come here, there will be a feeding friends of women that want you. So let me ask you, do you feel like there's a feeding? Do you feel like you're highly desirable, you're sought after? Sure, um, I mean, when I looked on their website uh, for Match Guarantee, I saw plenty of beautiful women. Um, not every single one is gonna respond back to you that they're interested, but I mean, that doesn't happen in real life either, but I uh, got far more interest than I ever did back in the States. Uh, many of them, again, very interested, easy to talk to, uh, doing video dates or Skype or whatever the case may be, um, and chatting with them on Viber after uh, they both, you and her both agree that you'd like to continue to talking. Um, that's gone very well. I've done that with, I think, two different women uh, before I came here. So definitely have had a great experience before I got here. And then everything once I got here has lived up to the expectation and the standards that Match Guarantee had set beforehand. If you had to compare, let's say Ukraine, the Ukraine streets with American streets, mm -hmm. the beauty level, the feminine, femininity level, how do you think it would compare, compare numerically? I'd probably say uh, in Colorado, probably about 25 to one. Um, definitely significantly more here. Here they still very much care about looking attractive, uh, even if they're not meeting someone, just walking to and from work. Uh, you can tell they put a lot of effort into uh, their looks and they're proud of that. Definitely different than home. So is that femininity or beauty or both? I would say both, because um, part of it is just taking respect in yourself and wanting to look presentable to people, even if it's not somebody you're trying to date. You just want to look your best, and you can tell ladies here want to look their best every day, even if they're just going to a grocery store, a pharmacy, whatever it may be. Okay, thanks. How would you compare your dating history in America compared to Ukraine? I've dated some nice ladies, but none of them were that wow factor to me. None of them were like, I would love to see her every morning when I wake up. Um, and uh, uh, just here, it's just almost every single one is just completely stunning um, and also really mature, um, a lot of depth to their character. They're not shallow, typically like in America, if you see a beautiful woman, they're usually, there's not much depth there. So far, uh, all these women are very complex, have lots going on, smart, talented, interesting um, so yeah, they're, they're the whole package Shane you're 30 years old you know you're you're set in your career you know high SMV sexual market value man you know you're mm -hmm. very desirable in Ukraine as we were talking off camera mm -hmm. um, do let me ask you do you feel like women value you in Ukraine do you feel that value that you're valued in Ukraine first part question second part 
How does that compare to dating in America? Do you feel like you're valuable to American women? Uh, in America, I would say no. Um, I've been blown off many times before. They don't make an effort. Um, so far, everybody here has definitely taken time out of their work. Uh, several women have come from out of town and taken time off of work. Um, I had one woman who actually took off several days to spend time with me, which that was a shock being from out of town. I did not expect that, and that was a very pleasant surprise. Um, and you can tell that at least the women I've met with here uh, are very interested in trying to find someone to have a relationship with. Uh, that I haven't had an experience where they're just trying to get a free dinner and it was just surface level to, to get a, a fun night out. They, you can tell that they're interested. Shane, how would you rate um, the beauty level of the Match Guarantee ladies in person when you meet them? You don't compare sure. to their, their photos and their profile. I'm sure many guys would be concerned that they're photoshopped, that they're airbrushed um, and, and tweaked. Um, I absolutely would say that that's not accurate. Totally, totally false. Pretty much every woman I saw in person looked as good or better than, uh, than their photos uh, actually meeting them. Um, again, they put lots of effort into looking beautiful and attractive um, and, and dressing nicely, and they've absolutely done that. And uh, I, I've been completely happy with what Match Guarantee uh, puts on their photos, as, as well as what the women show up looking like in real life. They, they do not try to uh, misrepresent the ladies at all. Shane, what would you say about the aspect of weight and Ukrainian women versus American women? Sure. Uh, let's talk about it because it's becoming more and more of an issue back in the Western world. Oh, absolutely. And ironically, I come from Colorado, which is the skinniest state in the U.S. Um, our state is very active, mountainous, outdoorsy. Um, we take a lot of pride in, in being fit. And even then, the level of fitness here is absolutely completely different than back home. Um, I don't think I've seen a single overweight person that's young, basically. Totally different than back home. Um, and I'll tell you what, bring your walking shoes and plenty of socks, because uh, I've averaged over 10 miles a day walking with dates, seeing parks, looking at buildings. Um, so definitely bring comfortable shoes, because many of these ladies like to either go for a walk before or after a meal or tea. So, how's it going so far? Uh, it's been a great trip. Today's my last day here in Ukraine. Um, I've been here for just over a week. Uh, the flight was definitely long but worth it. I'm glad I've made the choice to do this trip. Um, and so far your company's done everything they said they would. Um, and I'm glad I made the decision to come here and I have some uh, hard decisions to make once I go home. Shane, if there's a, you know, a young American man watching right now, age 30 or 30 something like you, and he's frustrated dating in America, and he's thinking about coming to Ukraine to look for somebody, I guess, what would you say to him based on your experience? Is it worth it and what's the difference? Absolutely worth it. Um, obviously COVID right now is, is making things more complicated than I think it would have been in times past. Uh, but even with all those complications and extra headaches, um, I'm thoroughly glad I made this decision. Um, and uh, I will plan on coming back to uh, meeting uh, some of the ladies uh, that I met here on this trip to get to know them better and, and continue that process. And I'm glad I trusted my gut because I've had that same experience here. Um, and so far this agency has done everything they said they would. Um, and uh, they haven't, uh, everything that was uh, agreed upon, they followed through. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Um, and then you're going to have a very difficult choice of these possibly multiple women that you think are great, fantastic, but you, at the end of the day, can only pick one. So the next logical question is, how do you choose?